Here's an AMI This Week shortcut with Laura Bain. I think if the first thing we need to talk about at the story meeting is some ideas for AMI This Week. Alex, do you have any ideas this week? Yeah, I've got an idea for uh, an Am I Right. Okay. Meet Alex Kronstein, AMI Halifax's latest apprentice. He applied for the job hoping to make a difference. I figured that uh, AMI could do some more, um, some better stories on uh, autistic people and neurodivergent people. I know they, ha they have done it in the past. I've seen a few stories they've done, but I, I thought they could do like some, some, some more. AMI's apprentices get first-hand experience in all aspects of production. So far, the apprenticeship has been excellent. I love it all. I've been doing some assistant editing on various uh, uh, shows like the Postcard series and a few um, AMI This Week stories. And uh, I recently shot my own uh, Am I Right segment, which I did the, the full rough cut for. Am I right? I've also been going out on some shoots as a second camera person. And I, I was also interviewed on uh, The Pulse for AMI Audio. All right, Alex, so I'm thinking the first thing we should do is put that quick release plate on the, tr on the top of the tripod here. Of course. Yeah. The AMI apprenticeship program is paid and lasts eight weeks. Applicants don't have to have experience, but Alex does. He has a radio and television arts diploma from the Nova Scotia Community College and has worked in production since he graduated. I do think absolutely um, people with disabilities who have um, an interest in media production should have more opportunities to get involved with that if they, if they wish. Doing an apprenticeship at AMI, of course, is always an excellent place to start. Alex is a writer, podcaster, and autistic activist. I am fairly well known in the online world, in the online autistic activist world. I've got many friends from uh, across Canada, the United States, and, and some other countries as well. The Neurodive Cast is my podcast. It's mostly about issues that are of interest and of concern to autistic people. Now, I've been an autistic activist for a couple of years now, but this particular incident took my activism to a whole new level. Last year, he spoke at DISX, an event featuring speakers from the disability community. I loved speaking at DISX. Mostly I spoke about my autistic advocacy work and about um, the autistic community's um, fight against applied behavioral analysis, ABA therapy, and I also talked about um, a major documentary film that I'm currently developing. He's the chapter leader of Autistics United Nova Scotia. Autistics United Nova Scotia is the local chapter of Autistics United Canada, which is the only national organization that is run entirely by autistic people. We have five chapters across the country, but so many of the, the major mainstream aut autism organizations are not run by autistic people. They may have a few autistic people on staff, but none like in leadership positions and very few on, the, on their board of directors. Thanks. How'd it go? Very good. Sweet. He's also a filmmaker. In 2018, he was the recipient of the JRG Society for the Arts Atlantic Filmmaker Award. Ultimately, I did not win the actual grant, but I was the highest scoring filmmaker. And they liked my project so much that that's when they created the JRG Atlantic Filmmaker Award. I love the edges of things. One of Alex's experimental films is called Fabulous Fringes. Places of intersectionality. It's um, a visual interpretation of a poem by Leah Kelly. She's a analytic but neurodivergent mother of an autistic son. She lives in Vancouver. And the visuals are of various fringy elements, like uh, tassels on, a, on, a, on a, like a tapestry, um, or on like a wall hanging, that kind of thing. The Fabulous Fringes. A lot of us, like the various social justice activists, are often dismissed as, ra as these radical fringe elements. So I thought, why not bring this to life in a film form? Alex, I also wanted to get like a variety of shots of the, that building. What can you suggest? I'd say we can do a pan and then a tilt. Okay, yeah, that would be nice. Okay, why don't With we his do apprenticeship that? coming to an end, Alex is planning for his future. I'm doing my big feature-length ABA doc, which I'm currently in pre-production for right now. I'm hoping 
to do a uh, like a 30 minute doc on the subject of green jobs, which is very timely given the climate crisis we're now facing. Um, I want to do a couple of profiles of local artists with disabilities. As of today, I am just over one week away from incorporating my own production company. We have no doubt that Alex will be successful in his future endeavors. If his experience has piqued your interest in applying for an AMI apprenticeship, visit ami.ca careers.